Hey guys, welcome to part 52, I think, of this uh, Valheim No Death run. So do you ever get one of those times where you just don't really feel like putting yourself at any risk whatsoever? That's kind of what I feel like now. Um, I just want to like fix up the base a little bit more, potter around. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> the last thing I did was get my boat. Because I was going to go check out another Mistlands. But, like, I don't feel like doing that right now. However, since that is what I plan to do, I'm going to go do that. And we'll, we'll see how we go. I looked into my inventory and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. Fair enough. Fair enough. No lazy time right now. All right, let me just plan this out because uh, i just trying to remember. So, we go to Teleporter 5 and we go down south-ish. South-ish. Uh, I'm not going to get motor because I don't care about the... The wind so much because I'm only going to paddle around. You don't go zooming through the mistlands. You won't be able to see what you're doing. Um, we don't want to land in the mistlands. We want to land near the mistlands. I think. Yeah. Okay. Teleporter five. Okay. Let's. Should we go do that now? Well, we got the rest of bonus. I got some food in my inventory. You know what we don't? Oh, no, no. They'll. Okay. Hang on. Just trying to think. Do we need this? Okay, put that on. Wait. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Come on, make it mine. Uh, I do want to get magic. I've been testing it out a little bit in me and my wife's um, playthrough. And I really want to get a Staff of Protection and a Dead Razor, but... Uh, I don't... It's so expensive. It's, oh, I guess I could have enough. I need time for the sap to regenerate. Okay, well, let's just, let's just go. It, it's not urgent right now. To, to get the magic. Um, and also, if you're wondering about when are we going to fight the queen. Ugh, man, I don't know. That does not look like an easy fight. It was teleporter 5, wasn't it? A lot of these teleporters I just never really go back to, do I? There it is. Because another thing is that... I don't feel a sense of urgency for going to fight the queen. Because I know the queen's... Um, ability it kind of sucks like I just don't like it um, and I probably would have to do it again when the next content comes out it's just not worth putting myself at risk like if it wasn't a no death run I'd go for it but like we got other things to worry about right now so yeah, let's just keep going all right we know that there's a mistlands just over there like, it even says we're in the Mistlands right now. But just be very careful. Because if I recall correctly, last time I was sailing through here, there was a, a Yarl, Yarl, whatever it's pronounced as. And yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. I can see right ahead there. That looks like a route straight ahead of us. So, yeah. this coastline over here. Why don't we just go and have a look over that way? Oh, uh, you know what I also didn't do? Yeah. I didn't get a teleporter. I always do that when we ever go to New Island. I gotta go back. I gotta go get the teleporter material. Yeah, I can see there's a route right there. Because, yeah, we've gotta be careful about where we land. Oh, look at that skeleton. Gotta be really careful. This is just simply a case of I, I didn't think this through um, properly. That's okay. It's it doesn't really hurt us. Just get back to there. Cool. Yep, no problem. Um, get out of here. All right, so we gotta go set up another teleporter. Because what are we gonna do? We're gonna get there and then just like, how are we gonna get the stuff back to base? How am I going to get back to base? you got to get the teleporters. Um, could, you know, pack up a teleporter. But at the same time, we've got all the resources we need to make more. You know, I've been going pretty hard on those certain cores. We, that's right, they're not here anymore. Uh, we go... 20 of these. Need 4 of these. And 40 of these. Good, that's all, and we need to set up one here first before we go anywhere. The 
this is I do need to tidy this up this is getting to be a mess again and what's this 18 okay and then back to five that, that's all we have to do uh, food that we've got in our inventory yeah that should keep us going and then back through teleporter five Because, yeah, in regard to sailing through Mistlands, I've had this happen before. Um, you're sailing through, and then a Seeker jumps onto your boat and just destroys it straight away because they do so much damage and there's no armor on the boat, right? And it's fine if you get your boat destroyed and you're at the coastline, but if you're in the middle of the ocean, that's it. It's game over. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, 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 it'd be fine. Just realized I need enough wood to get a workshop. Don't worry about it. We're not going to land in that mist land. We're going to land next to it. And we can see that there's, like... <sighs> but we'll see. Let's see. I could maybe even swim across this, but let's just see. Seems like a decent amount of mist land, though. A lot of roots. Swamp there. Swamp is pretty safe for us now. Even if we want to put the boat there, that that wouldn't be that bad. Same sort of thing with planes. It's not that bad. As long as I'm decisive about it and just like land and jump off the boat straight away. Okay, I'm gonna land right here. Full speed ahead. Get ready. Here we go. As soon as we land, get off the boat. Because we don't want to be swimming. Okay, you can see the Descrito. Make sure we pop down bone mass. Yeah, because I've had this problem before. <laughs> it's experience in the game. You land and there's a one star or two star fueling in there. Ready to smash you. Not today. Nah, -uh, not today. I knew that was going to happen. Now, a teleporter here probably isn't the best idea, but at least I'm on land here, but, and we can look around. Um, the boat is totally fine. Alright, let me just make note that the boat's here. Boat is here. And let's have a look, where can we put a teleporter down? Alright, there's the mist land. Hmm. Looks like it could be a really good mist land. Yeah, I really don't want to put a teleporter in the plains. That's really annoying. Oh, another one star. And that is like the smallest swamp I think I may have ever seen. Jeez, one star. Bonanza out here. What's this? Blood bag? They'd be super weak against, um... Huh. What's that doing there? Oh, maybe the fuelings went and attacked them. Yeah, super weak against frost damage. I consider a swamp to be a lot safer than a... Plains. So if I was going to put a teleporter down. Let's just see. Uh, 
Uh, they got someone trying to attack our boat. How rude. This one here doesn't look like... Can it be chopped down? No, it's too thick. Let's just look a little bit more down this way. I don't like the sight of this here. don't like that at all. Yeah, this is a very small swamp. Very small. Lands right here. Yeah, very small swamp. Okay. Hmm. Do we put this teleporter down here? Yeah. Uh, it's it's a little bit risky, but we're late enough in the game now that we should be okay. So I need to get some regular wood. Oh, is that wood stuck in that tree? Okay. Yeah, I got so much armor that even if I pop through and things are literally waiting for me right here, it's, it should be fine. Unless it's a two-star. Just, I just got to be mindful of that, I think. Putting it up here will make it a little bit easier. No, it'll actually make it more difficult to, to deal with, I think. I want to be able to make quick getaways, so that looks... Yep, that looks good. Alright, teleporter 18, here you go. Alright then, and then we should put a box down. Okay, just need some more wood. And then you know what we should do? Rather than leave that boat there, I think I might just take the materials of the boat straight back to base. Oh, I didn't get enough. Um, okay. I think we've got enough now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, probably need to get need to wear this. Make sure. I, yeah, I got enough space. All right, now we'll go demolish the boat and just take the resources back to base. That way, um, I won't need to be thinking. Oh, where did I park the boat again? Don't need to be thinking about that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty shallow. Okay, hang on. Let me get on the boat first. Get everything? Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, got it all. So now we begin our adventures of this island here, see what we can find. It might have nothing, but yeah, I was supposed to know, you know, without actually exploring it. I don't know why I have these, like, negative thoughts, like, oh yeah, this this island might have nothing. That's always the risk. They actually might. 
Alright, I'm going to put the boat materials... If I put it here, I'm guaranteed to forget about it. Yeah, okay, so that's where the other boat material is. Um, I guess we'll see if I remember or not. So it was 40. Okay, so basically that's the longship, and that's the other one, the carve. I will probably forget about it. Cool. Wait. Yeah. Alright, let's just put a few things away, because... Um, I don't think I need leech trophies. I don't know why I brought that back with me. I am open to holding on to some of these trophies now. Uh, gonna need to keep some of these bones. I'm sure that's enough, but... Let's do it anyway. Just trying to think where I put these food. Yep, yep. Good. Good. Alright, I'm going to put the belt away because we're going into a mist land. And I should probably pick up a bit more food. So chuck in a couple more lox pies and a few of these. And a few of these. Let's just take five. Okay, and should we repair our stuff? No, we should be fine. Alright, let's go. And back through teleporter 18. So yeah, just very timidly just sort of gauge what's in this mist lens. Yeah, every now and again we're gonna get these guys popping in. Don't care about the um, entrails anymore. Alright, oh god, jeez, make sure you got that. Alright, here we go. Oh, that reminds me as well. We developed a really easy way of getting these hairs. Uh, ooze bombs. And from here, we'll actually get ooze popping up every now and again. Um, Um, let's cut this up. Does it go underneath the ground here at all? Because I got the box right there and I do like iron. Basically, we could just get this thing floating and then it just blows up. Here a dervager, and that's fine by me. Out there fighting stuff, all fine by me. We also don't have any chickens growing at the moment, but eh, we just got a lot of that. I haven't even been eating that stuff yet. goes well this whole thing should explode nope all right it's touching the ground somehow I don't know how but it's oh probably this this bit right here
I've got to be really careful with having the pick at 7 in the item slot, and, but also really close to 8, which is the, um, <laughs> uh, the potion. I have a habit of um, clicking the wrong thing. Hmm. That's interesting. It is floating. Why won't you explode? I don't know what's going on here. It's definitely not touching the ground. I just don't know what's going on with it. There we go. That's what we want to see. Cool. And, you know, we get a bit of iron, but we're really close to the teleporter, so... I mean, I know I can't teleport it back, but what I mean is we're, we're close to the box here. Alright, let's uh, make note of this. If I raise the ground here a bit, then I don't have to worry too much about these leeches. How are we going for weight? Yeah, we're okay. Uh, I don't really need... To, I, I don't think we really need that much stone anymore. Okay. Uh, night time out here is not the best... Oh my god, that's really dark. Could you not be so misty, please? Let's start having a look, see what else we can find. I know there's still some more... Um, Still some more iron we could gather. Iron stuff here. Is there an outpost or what what is this? Dude right there. Okay, it actually looks like it's a fairly small mist lands, and there's a mountain here as well. Which, this mountain looks kind of small. It's got a variety of biomes. I was talking about, and the bit that we just mined was right here. Ooh, come on, give me some sight here. Okay. What kind of seeker? Just a just nothing seekers. Okay, no big deal. Let's lure them over here so that the Dervages can fight them. But it's not really about the Dervages fighting them. It's about them fighting the Dervages. I want them to kill just one of them. Yep, they did that. Okay, good. Is there anyone else here? God, I can't see anything in this damn mist. Is that dude hanging around? Oh, he got killed too. What's this? Is there nothing seeker? Nothing seeker? Okay. Oh man, there's four of them. Yeah, I can take it. And there's a soldier. 
Okay, I can take him. Take out the easy stuff first. Take out the easy, fast things. So that's the seekers. Take them out first. And then the slower dudes. We can work on that. Oh, watch it, dude. Get around the back of it. Missed. Good, didn't need bone mass. Good, good, good. Still haven't gotten any trophies yet for the Seekers, but we do need to do that at some point. Well, they took out all the great... Uh, no, they're not great dwarfs. Um, I kind of think of them as like black dwarfs, but I don't know if that's right either. They're... they're um, I just call them dervages. Alright, this is the only guy that survived. Did I get... F yes! Good, I got some soft tissue. Oh my god, you get so excited about soft tissue. Yeah. Alright, I, I don't want stone. I'm gonna mine this stuff out here. A little bit. It's reasonably deep. But also, this is just something to do to wait out this damn storm. It's pissing me off a little bit. And at some point, I will get the boat and sail all of these resources back to base. At some point. <laughs> you know, assuming I live. Which, I think it's at this point here, we can always just assume that I'm probably gonna live. At least a little while longer. <laughs> because... You know, a lot of the toughest things that this game has to offer, we've sort of dealt with now. Two Star Seekers, dealt with it. Two Star Tick, dealt with it. Not well, but I dealt with it. Um, the other thing that we haven't dealt with is the... Um, is the Queen. Which... Uh, not a priority for me right now. I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. I don't have enough seal breakers. We've got to find um, some more things for that. Um, seal breakers and of course the, the soldiers. Do you know what I find funny, right? What I would find funny is that at the beginning of the episode, I was like, you know what, I just want to have a chill episode. And then I wonder sometimes if some people are like, oh, he's going to play chill, I'm log and just, just stop watching right there. Even though, I immediately was like, oh wait, no, I've got to go do this first. Okay, let's see if this wants to explode. Definitely not touching anything. There we go. Oh, cool, we just got that one straight away. Nice. Fair amount of iron the ground. Got 18. Cool, just go over to the boat and then just come straight back over here. Actually, let me put a marker down because otherwise it will be tough to find it with all this damn mist everywhere. 
It's, it's kind of tough, I mean. Hmm. Hmm. So we can use those for ooze bombs. Considering making some. So that'll be good for um, hunting rabbits. Really good for them. I don't think I need the Draga trophy for anything. I'm just going to chuck it out. Okay, stones in my way. Get rid of that. So, you know, that was, that was a decent haul of iron. It was, at the very least, it was just easy to get it. Yeah, uh, using ooze bombs to hunt down mist hares. It's probably good because um, the hare is just such a good meat. You get the best food in the game. The mist hare is supreme. So we do have to hunt them down. So that was pretty quick to get all that. All right. Well, we still got eight minutes of rested. Let's uh, explore this area a little bit more and see what it has to offer. It seems like it's kind of a small mistlands, but this might just be one of many mistlands. Kind of like on the other island. Cool. I mean... Cool. <laughs> it doesn't want to run away. Great. Cool. Alright, don't need this. Just be very careful. We don't have the feather cape yet. We'll get it soon-ish. Soonish. At some point, we will get it. Got to be thorough as well. Just like I was saying you know, so many times, you can very easily miss a skull. The Jotunheimer skull. Which is one of the best resources out here to get in the Mistlands. That delicious soft tissue. The more of that we get, the more magic stuff. Okay, there's a Yarl around here somewhere. Just be mindful. Of While I'm wet, I don't really have to worry about it too much, apart from the ticks. But they never drop one and two star ticks. And those are the real concerns. Right. I was just hoping I might get some sight on it somewhere, just see its outline. Get its attention, fight it somewhere where it's more favorable. Do not like fighting these guys on rocks. Doesn't sound like it's particularly close just yet. further inland here. It sounds like it's more in that direction. I feel like I'm getting fairly close to it, but I actually have no idea. Definitely feel like I'm closer to it now. Yeah, it's over in this direction and it's already fighting something. Maybe a Grey Dwarf. Re not great dwarf, just dwarf things respawned. 
Maybe? Okay, there it is. Somebody died. Oh, maybe that's... Actually, I have no idea. It was a dwarf and there's a blood bag there. And... Oh, wow. That's... Hang on. We got incoming. Alright, they are on us. Now, it's fine. Individually, there's nothing to be concerned about here. But all together, I don't like fighting different creatures all at once. Alright, I will use the fire potion. Okay, someone did a bit of damage to us, but we got lots of health. Oh, there he is. Uh, ah! Glad to use that fire potion. Oh no, I can't see. No, it's over there. I can't even see its health. Come on, show me your underbelly. Yeah, it's not doing much damage to us. I wouldn't mind it dropping a few ticks. We do need blood bags. Maybe what I do is get it down to like a smidge of health and then just get it to farm ticks. And when I, if I get to the point where I'm like, oh no, I'm about to die, I'll just shoot, shoot it in one hit and kill it. Just toy with it for a little bit. That thing's like running away. Yeah, it deemed me too scary. I can't get at it. Oh <laughs> no! I don't need the blood bag, but I don't want it getting awake. I can't see it now. Damn it, stupid rocks. I shouldn't have toyed with it. Still here. I don't, I don't think these things are that cowardly. I think it was just trying to move around a little bit. Well, it's very much at like one hit kill. Just gotta get some sight on it. Should be right over here, right in front of me. But I can't see it. It's up there. Ticks. This is not the best place to have, be fighting ticks. Okay, that's fine. I saw you, you were there. Gotcha. Alright, now the blood bag, bile bag thing, where is it? There it is. Uh, okay, what do we not need from here? I'm good for blood bags. And... I don't really need entrails. That being said, do I really need it? Yeah, I'll just take the trophy. Let's see, I should really start holding onto trophies a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, actually, no. No, we are about to lose the rested bonus, and I'm pretty close to the thing, and we got too many items anyway. Let's just go back. Ah, 
That's need to put away. Okay, cool. Uh, good haul. Good haul. Didn't really lose anything, apart from just food. But we're not seeing any, like, critical resources. Alright, anything... Okay, let's stop putting stuff away. Okay, Yurt and Puffs. Chuck them in. So we've got a few of those. So that'd make us 40 uh, ooze bombs if we want to make those, which I'll think about it, but maybe just not right this very second. Uh, bile bags, I'm putting those in. I'm putting them in the uh, treasury box over here. The misc box for now. Leave that there as well. Anything else? Mandibles go in here, as well as that all goes in here. Yep, gold. Actually, maybe that should go in here. Okay, we've got 23 minutes of rested. Chuck that over there. And... Okay, we need to do a bit of repairs. I can't repair this until I remake the uh, the Black Forge. Easy enough to make, but you know, it's it's still effective for the time being, so don't need to rush on that. Food still, supplies are still good. We've got bone mass. There's no reason why we have to stay here. Let's just, um, just to drop off resources, that's it. Let's keep going. So yeah, hopefully we find something interesting in this... Um, this area, but we'll see. Okay, I need to go further down this way. Oh, what the? Is that a muddy scrap pile? Huh. Never seen one just sitting out there like that. I think it was supposed to be like a buried one, but because of the way this terrain here works, it just... It is kind of buried, but it also isn't. Here's some iron and stuff falling down that way. I'll just go pick it up once we're done with this. What are my skills like with pickaxes now? 68. Oh, look at that. We have 100 in run. We've maxed out run skill. Nice. We haven't seen elemental magic yet. Either that or it's all just fallen down there. I think that might just be it, but I'll just double check. Wow, oh, that wasn't that much. Uh, let's see, what do we get out of this? Uh, so it was worth six in total. Yeah, that's why it's best to destroy those like swords. It's a bit easier. Get a bit more out of it. All right, now let's have a look. Yeah, if that dragon wants to follow me in here, who cares?
think I may have actually just heard another yow. Yeah, you could just follow me around. I don't like to be on the coastline. Nothing to be worried about here. We're good. <laughs> She's like, I should have stayed in the swamp. God damn, these things still hit for really just tons of damage. So yeah, we're never going to get any faster or uh, better stamina than we've got right now in terms of running. Which is fine, I think, I think it's pretty good. What we got? looking for something of value. It's just a whole bunch of nothing. Plenty of roots, but can't do anything with it without an extractor. Yeah, there is another one. Another y'all, I can hear it. Let's get wet first. Acts as a Essentially uh, a fire potion as well. Hmm. This uh, misland didn't seem to be all that productive. I do not like these. These kind of misland areas here is like... Oh, hang on, hang on. Lots of water everywhere. Very, not a great place to be fighting. not so bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Can't find anything of value out here. No infested mines. No nothing. Like, look at this. Empty. Com this one here? There's heaps. This one's got nothing. Just check if they're starred creatures before we go into it. Although you can usually tell based on the color. But it's just double checking anyway. Leave nothing to chance. Damn it. Ran out of stamina. That can be very frustrating. It's one of the things that makes the misland kind of difficult is uh, the terrain. You just don't fight well on rough terrain. Okay. This isn't quite as bad as I thought it was, so I don't mind fighting the, the Isle here. But it is night time, so it's going to make visibility even more difficult.
Right, I thought that might have been the coastline there, but it looks like we can still go down. Alright, it's around here somewhere. It's very close. I think it's right above me. I think it's up there. I, I can't see. I could take a pot shot. I just, I can't see where it is. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And now it's night time. Maybe it's up there. I'm well, trying to get rid of the missile, I just can't see it. Could have sworn it'd be around here. Maybe just don't worry about it. Thing is, I don't want it to get the jump on me. Always try to be the attacker. That's really important. You don't want to be somewhere kind of in a really not secure position, and then then it shows up. No, it's not good. Fight the battle on your terms, not its. But this terrain here is okay so far. It's got to be very careful. That is can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> see, can't, can't see ahead of us there. Gotta be so careful. It's just nothing of any real value out here. No Dervager outposts. Nothing. You know, these, these um, vegetables, but I can grow those. I don't need to do that here. Alright, well, I'm not hearing the Yarl anymore, so I'm clearly further away from it than I was before. This is another thing as well, especially where we don't have the Feather Cape. If I'm up here fighting and they knock me down, it could do a lot of damage to me. There's water down there, be careful. Alright, we're looking at swamp creatures, that's fine, you can stay there. Yeah, I'm not going for a swim, forget it. Forget it. Find a way around. <laughs> so much for a nice calm episode. I mean, we're not really doing any serious fighting right now, it's just I'm on edge. I just wanted to relax a little bit and work on the base. I mean, nobody forced me to do this. But this was on my to-do list, so I'm just getting this done now. I pretty much went in a giant circle. <laughs> Great. Oh, these mistlands near the coastlines, I don't like them. Bone. Something's here. 
It's in a really weird angle, though. I think his head is buried. Like, right here. Never seen it look like this before, where it's heads buried into the ground like this. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get at it. It's, no, now would not be a good time to fight me. Alright, I think he's fighting something else. Apparently they can hear when you're mining stuff and they come towards you. I heard that. I'm gonna just make note of this here. It's good for bones. Because I may have to run. Oh! What's this? One star. so much. Yeah, I still have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to get at anything here, because I've just never seen a bone structure like this before. And we can only go down so far before the game won't let us go any further. Also need to make sure that we've got a way out very important. In fact, it's actually more important than getting anything out of this. I <sighs> don't like what's going on here. I don't like it! <laughs> These noises! If we were down on a flat terrain, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not worried. But this here, I'm worried! Especially considering there might be nothing obtainable from here. Just won't know until I actually try. You know what I'm saying? I think, ah, oh, for biscuits! Alright, we're gonna need this. And I'm kind of not in a good spot right here, so I'm not going to stay. Oh no, it's water. What the hell? No, I don't want to. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here, Daddy. I want to leave. This is what I don't want for, to fight in this area. Stop saving the game right now. No! There's nowhere to run. We have to stand and fight here. Glad I got that fire potion active. 
Maybe I shouldn't be such a little bitch. It seems like we're doing fine. This is just the epitome of where I don't want to fight them, but... Yeah, there's, it's just not doing any damage to me. Because, yeah, the problem with this terrain here is I can't dodge very well, but there we go, it's done. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to get that bile bag, but I'm not concerned about that. Okay, and now it's nice and quiet, and I think it's daytime now, so... We can be, hopefully, left somewhat in peace to see what we can get out of this, if anything. Oh, I think another thing is, because I had bone mass, it was, like, doubly not doing any damage to us. Because it's not all fire damage, some of it was like blunt or something, I'm not sure. Piercing. We absolutely have to make sure that we have an escape plan. <laughs> that's very important. Alright, that's all fine there. How are we going for weight? Mostly stone, anyway. And we're still going down further, but I'm not seeing the skull. So far, no sign of the skull at all. Is that water? This is still the rib cage. It's all just rib cage. better view. Oh, there's another tick up here. Oh, this weapon's so good. Oh, right, okay. Um, well, maybe that's what happened. There was like a tick that bit me as I was coming through here. Oh, no, there was a puffer fish. That's what did it. I was wondering what got me. Didn't see it because it was dark. Um, yeah, this is interesting, in a not productive way. I mean, in terms of its anatomy, I would assume the skull is right here, right? But what if there is no skull and it was just a ribcage? I've never seen that before, but... You know, I don't have a thousand nails in this game, but it could be the case. Yeah, if we look at this, that's its backbone, isn't it? Or is that its sternum? My uh, frost giant anatomy is not perfect. And I guess that's the big thing here, is that I don't know where to dig. So I'm just trying to dig everywhere. I'm just trying to guess where it might be. 
Or is it a case that the head is nowhere near its um, ribs? We've also lost the rested bonus. And I don't think I've got... Uh, yeah, I don't have any wood to start a fire. But I got wood right here. I gotta go back soon anyway, my pick's about to break. It's quite possible that there is just nothing here and I'm wasting my time. But if there is something here, I want to want to make sure I actually get it. What's this down here? Still more petrified bone? No, that's actually just rock. So yeah, you can s let me have a look at this again. Come up here. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so there's its rib cage, right? So where's its goddamn head? Or is it just... It's just a rib cage, there's no head. Because I can't mine much further, there's water there. This is it. I think I'm just gonna have to cut my losses on this. Well, it's not, not like I've lost anything except for time. But yeah, there's just, there's just nothing there. I'll leave the marker there, but... I don't know, I just don't feel like there's anything there for me to get. Alright, let's just keep going. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to swim through here. As much as... No, you know what? I don't have to swim through it. Oh. No, I kind of do, don't I? Because I've used up all my pick. Uh... It's not that far to swim, just, just see what we can do. And that would be a really bad time to get attacked. I've had it happen before, that's why I've got such an aversion to it. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Problem is i got to go back that way as well. Well, maybe, we'll see. Okay. Get an idea of what was up there. Careful, 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 careful. Yeah, these kind of mistlands that I'm in right now, my least favorite. You know, there's nothing here, and it's difficult to navigate. Least favorite. Ah, I reached the edge of it. There was nothing here. What a waste of time. Oh, well, the other one was so profitable. I guess it makes up for it. Alright, well I guess that's that misland fully discovered, where we've got pretty much nothing out of it. Alright, and then there's a uh, plains out here. See, do you know what I like about the plains that I can see for ages? I know where I'm going. But we could have a look around to see if there's any more mistlands. I can kind of see there's some more fogs and stuff out that way, but it might be good to go around to teleport at 18 and, um, and, uh, go back, because we're a little bit encumbered. It's mostly stone, though, and I, uh, uh, we still got room for stone.
But yeah, sometimes you just spend all that time and you just get nothing out of it. Can't really do much about it. There's nothing there. seen in a really long time and you tarp it. Oh my god, I hate being in the water like this. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be going into the mistlands. Way more difficult to navigate than planes. Oh, that's a lot of fish. No, I'm not going to get them by hand. Rather not fight the locks. Yeah, there's another girl. Might also be a good idea to pack up all the resources at Teleporter 18. Leave the box there, but pack up Teleporter 18 and um, travel further down this way. Because, yeah, going around all this way to get back to it is kind of a pain. I don't think we want to go north. Because, yeah, if I just leave the, a landmark there to let us know that we got some resources there, we'll pick it up on... Maybe we'll pick it up at some point. It's not like it took me a long time to get it. Just got it because it was convenient. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Sometimes you'll spend ages in an area, like an hour, and not get anything that you really wanted. I mean, we got like one or two pieces of soft tissue, but that's from killing dirtages, which, whatever. No black cores. That's an important item, that, unfortunately. Put some stuff away, repair the pick, and yeah, we'll definitely move teleporter 18 because I don't see that as being a particularly good teleport zone. Most of the stuff I've got to put away is just stone. Yeah, alright, whatever. Okay, I don't think the puffer fish is used for anything, so I will just immediately turn that into raw fish. Probably get four out of it. Yep. I think the raw fish was still going in here, is that right? It had been cooked, but that's fine, just leave it there for now. Okay, and we don't need the Draugr uh, trophy, so let's throw that away. Don't need it. 
And bones. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Not really storing them just yet. Okay. Did we get the rest of the bones yet? We did. Okay, let me take just one more piece of this. Okay, and let's head back. And yeah, just find a better location. This island seems fairly big, so we just got to explore around a little bit. It's a lot easier to explore on foot than on uh, by boat. So I'll leave this here. But I'll take this with me. And this is no longer Teleporter 18. This is just a um, box with metal in it. And if I ever come back for it, great. If not, no harm done. Could go north. I doubt I doubt there's any mistlands out that way, but we could explore that way. We'd be able to get a bit of a sight from a distance. No, I'm not seeing any mists. Might be safest to go up the mountain, have a look around, and then judge where we need to go from there. Oh no, don't. Don't let resources go to waste, especially good resources. We'll always need more arrows. It's not like I got any shortage of needles. I'm kind of hoping the, uh, the thing would get them. Nothing up here scares me. Good. Did you end up getting that hair? No, you didn't. Okay, these guys here are annoying me. Get rid of them. Alright, let's get a lay of the land. So that over there is the mistlands that we just explored. Uh, it's quite foggy, but it does look like there's more down that way. Maybe a little bit over there, I'm not sure. Okay, this wasn't really as good as I was hoping for. So we've, we've still got a teleporter on us, so we're not going to be able to carry too much stuff. I didn't bring the belt. This is a nice safe spot. This would be a good place to put the teleporter down if there was something nearby worth getting. little bit of fog there. 
There we go. Got it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Tiny little bit. Oh, I can also see this is the tiniest little bit over here. <laughs> Whatever, just... It's night time. Now's the time to be doing stuff that's relatively safe. Man, what a waste for one pixel of fog. Yeah, my OCD. Okay, well, good. See, normally with other biomes, we try to explore by running around the coastline. But when it comes to mistlands, I want to find mistlands that are inland. Because I do not like being near coastlines with mistlands. Everywhere else, it's fine. There's a troll nearby, but who cares? Alright, one thing we've got to keep in mind, if we want to pop down a teleporter, I'm going to need a workbench, so we should get some wood. So we've got seven, just need a little bit more. There we go, that's all I need. Yeah, just doing some exploring. Got to find some more stuff. We're definitely within the uh, sort of zone where we could find Mistland. It's very dark and foggy at the moment. What's my mace skill up to now? 94, okay. The mace has by far been the most useful weapon so far in the game. Uh, this is an encampment. Yeah, it's a full-blown encampment there. Well, I got bone mass ready. Did not time that well. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of them here. I don't like that. Yeah, a bit at a time is fine. Yeah. Walked right up to it because I couldn't see. Right, so gotta take out the small fry first. And take on two berserkers at once. Definitely don't want to be doing that in melee. Forget it. You have to shoot them. Although I could use bone mass. Yeah, we'll be fine with that. This guy here is being a nuisance. Uh, 
damn it. Just want to get this one. There we go. Alright, now this should be easy enough to deal with. Stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's time for going nice. Only because it was a javelin one. Kill that guy as quickly as possible. Come on, there we go. Alright, we're fine now. See, I would go into melee with them, but the problem is they've got so much knockback, and I can't block their attacks, forget that. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, no, it's not so bad. I just need stamina, that's all. Plus side, we get plenty of gold and uh, black metal, which, again, we still have to get that back to base if we're going to use it. Didn't even really want to take it on a village. So, maybe we'll just go around it. I wish this night would end with this goddamn fog. Yeah, we'll just go around that village. We're gonna have to head back soon, we're starting to get a bit encumbered. I also need to put a box down. For the black metal. Yeah, it was a pretty small village. I'm not gonna worry about it. Actually, why don't we make a quick note of it? Keep searching for mistlands. See what we can find. Which it looks like there's a mistlands over here. Okay, which means let's pop down a. Okay, okay, let's do this. Pop down a um teleporter here. Okay, I also need a little bit more wood. Ah, can't jump down a tree with a bow and arrow. <laughs> what am I doing? Was there a swamp here as well? Ignoring that drowner. Uh, I'm not really scared of it. Put stuff away and then come back. Or maybe even wait wait out the night. I wonder if maybe we should go back to our sap points and see if we can get some some sap first. Sources everywhere. Don't think we need the Death Squido trophies. This one here, Pine Cone, so that'll actually go in here with that. Let's 
seed you got left? Yep, still got plenty. Good, and that's another five eggs, that's good. So they're smashing it down on something. It's morning time. What's going on? Right, there's a big fight going on over there, that's all. But they weren't attacking our base. Do you know what would be really good? We get the skeletons. And they can constantly keep fighting all of these, you know, mass amounts of graylings that just keep coming this way. And I'll get so much blood magic experience. This would be such a good spot for that. And all that nuisance that these guys have been throughout the entire game will finally be worth something. Which, to be honest, it has been worth something the entire game. We, we have been getting constant um, deposits of... Uh, Rage Wolf Eyes, which, you know, we use. We've got a good amount of them, though. And other resources and experience. And that's all important. Wait. Oh, hang on. No, wrong one. Don't we have a hair trophy in here? No, a dervish trophy. Okay, never mind. Well, it's good to know that the uh, the chickens are at it. Getting it on. Alright, let's go collect some sap. Now, was it 15? No, it was 16, wasn't it? It's this one. Yeah, we're just gonna go collect the sap. Wait, no, we got two different ones. It's both at 16 and 17. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Plus, if I recall, there's some black marble sitting on the ground, which I said I'd pick up next time I went back there. Okay, everything's all safe here. I think there's still one more piece of um, metal in here. Yeah, there is. Oh, and then there's this as well. Um, yeah, I'll need to go and get the cultivator. We should be constantly growing this stuff. What a nice big stockpile of it. Wait, this farm has proven pretty good so far. And let's just go get that stuff. And I'm, I can't plant them until I go get the cultivator. I actually forgot about the, the farm. It wasn't the reason I came here. Okay. Thank you. And the black marble that I left behind should be right there. There we go. And this one here has recovered a fair bit. Cool, so next time we come back here, this will probably be dull. And then we can just switch it back over to the other one. Okay, now we need to go and get the other... The other sap point. Which is through teleporter 17. Nice, this one's way more convenient. This route's always fading. Didn't it just say it was all dried up? Oh, didn't realize I left some there. Uh, 
is there another route that I could possibly put it on? Oh man, I can't see. What's this one like? Fading, it's all the same route. Well, it's still good to go there for a little bit longer, so that's fine. Head back. You know, that's a decent amount of sap. I forgot that I put 10 in that uh, box. Now we'll quickly go get the cultivator, which is here. Yep. Good for weight. Just go straight back to this one. And let's just plant... Nope, wrong thing. Plant a little bit. Alright, start with the mage cap, because we're going to start using magic fairly soon. Keep it fairly far away from the fence. We don't need to plant that much, just make sure none of them get wasted. Good, and also some Jotun puffs. Still don't know if it's Jotun or Jotun puffs. My wife thought it was Jotun, and I was just like, there's no way that a Norse game would pronounce a J that way. It's always pronounced Yo. Always. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Feel free to let me know. Alright, that should do it. None of them look like they're unhealthy, although some of them are fairly close together. But that all seems good. And then whatever I've got in my um, inventory, well, that's the profit that we made. So that is 38 of this and 30 of that. Good. All right, now we go take some sap and and this stuff. No, hang on. I should be putting 10 back. And we go into teleporter 1. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be some stuff there. Also, the crops would be ready. But... We're good for cops for now. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff there. Quickly grab it before it starts shooting off. We got 20. Yep, that's what we wanted. Oh, did I put... Oh, I put the wrong amount back. Um, my bad. Uh, don't worry about it. It's not, it's not a big deal. Just basically next time remember to bring back 20 sap and 10 soft tissue. And then you'll put this I2 in there. So how much have we got now? Yeah, 34 is not bad. We definitely got enough to make the dead razor. That's the one of... Oh. Right. Well, that's that's those are so easy to get. All I have to do is go running. I should have actually held on to a few of them. Um, just go running into a few um, crypts. That's easy. Not on this island, obviously. It's cleared. Um, refined item. I also want to get the uh, the upgrade version of it. Also, this isn't where it's supposed to stay. I think I'll put it here. Because, yeah, it goes Forge, Black Forge, Workshop. Maybe we should put the Workshop there. No, no, I'll put the Gelder table there. And that way we've got all the crafting stuff in one area. Except for the Artisan table, which you know, I'm not going to make anything from that anyway. Okay. Okay, got a bit of Black Marble to put away. 
All right, we're an hour 40 into this, but I feel like I haven't done enough in this episode, so I'm going to go straight back to Teleporter 18 and have just a little bit of a look around there, see what we can find. Rested. Any moment. There we go. Thank you. And then through here. Because yeah, we're gonna have to remake the Black Forge again at some point soon because my armor is in need of repairs. Did I hear Hoogan? No. Alright, here we go. Let's have a little bit of a look. I think it's good there's a black forest on the edge here. Okay, so, come on, give us a trophy. No. One star. Well, I don't have bone mass. This is not super high. Game's lagging. Oh, there's a crypt there. Um, yeah, it's not going to kill me in one hit, but it's not also going to feel good. It is wet. Wet means extra damage. Go one more hit. There we go. There we go. Also, I didn't put down a marker, and I've still got the one over... No, I, never... I got rid of the other one. Anytime I see shrooms, I'm definitely going to pick them up. Uh, where do I put the teleporter? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's attacking you! Oh. <laughs> it pushed me into the portal. It's like, get him out of here. He'll kill us. Yeah. I'm just gonna go straight back. Now, what would have been funny is if it actually destroyed the portal and I wouldn't be able to get back through. But typically speaking, these guys don't have enough damage output to do that. Oh, good. Yeah, I knew I saw some more mushrooms. Alright, let's, uh, let's go and have some more of a look. But so far, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing for this mist. It's way too early to tell, but just in terms of the terrain and what we're bordering here, it's like, not so bad. So far. Uh, this could end up being the worst mist we've been to so far, who knows. Okay, now that I'm starting to see a little bit more of it, seeing a sphere, there's a lot of coastline around, and I don't like that. Oh, that might be a temple. There's stuff here, that's for sure. I don't know if this is a good idea, probably not.
There's one thing, I'm not going to be able to get those resources. Eh, don't worry about it. Alright, do you want to go over there and have a bit more of a look at them? I don't want to fight up here. Come down, come down here, boys. Down here. Because, yeah, if they hit me, they just knock me all the way down anyway. Watch out about the water. Keep our backs to the uh, to the mountain here. That's it. Because if they toss you in there, they can um, really prevent you from getting back out. I think there's still one left. Yeah, there it is. I think there's a soldier around here somewhere. Yeah, down there. We don't want to be up here. Right. Come quickly. Quick enough. There we go. Didn't get a chance to hit me. Good. Alright, let's have a look. Hopefully there's some stuff in here that we can get. Uh, I don't want I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. No. It'll keep me down there. No thanks. Yeah, fight here. This is better. Much better. Fight right here. No, no. I don't want to be there. I don't want to get thrown down a mountain and lose 221 health and die. <laughs> I need my feather cape. I haven't got it yet. I want to get magic first. Come on. Hard. I think that's all of them. This is the entry to this one. Yeah. All right. Yep. There is a temple here. Infested mine. Okay. I am just gonna make note of it. And I'm gonna have a tiny little look. But I don't think I'm going to do this right now. What I want to do is have access to... Blood magic. Ugh. Why do they always have this thing in the front here? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to want my bubble. If I'm going to do that. Okay, so at least there's stuff here. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for is for stuff. There's also a outpost over there, which that's going to be difficult to get creatures over to it. But we can go and have a quick look. I can have to swim there though. Not much of a swim. Should be fine. And let's have a look. Because, yeah, we could get an extractor from here. If it's not too difficult. But let's assess the situation. Alright. So, four... Five. None of them starred. And there's the, the thing there. This would actually be an okay place for a uh, teleporter, another outpost. You know, demolish it. Just like we did with the other place. I just gotta get it destroyed somehow. If I bring all the materials from here over to there, I, I could work with that. I've done all the materials, I only need some of them. But yeah, we've got to figure out a way to destroy all this. Um, hmm. I'm 
going to get creatures over here. Unless I build a bridge? No, I'm not going to be able to build anything too close to here, will I? I was just checking to see how much their, um, their ward would prevent. Uh, I gotta swim over to there to get back here. Ooh, there's puffer fish in the water. Yes, yeah, something about that one, it's screaming not a great idea. Hmm, I have to figure that one out. The, the thing is that we don't need an extractor. So, could be a lot of effort for not any serious gain. What we need are black cores and soft tissue. That's what I need. I don't like this. Somewhere in here. Just trying to get around. I don't like this, and I don't have another flame potion. Got to stock up. It's a goddamn Yarl here. It's, I think it's still a little while away. Oh god. What have I done? I could swim back. Try find another way. Why did there have to be a Yarl here? <laughs> I need to get back. Damn it. Okay, so remember how I said this, this misland looks okay? I retract that. I, this is my least favorite mislands now. Oh, look, it's another one. It's just identical to the... Oh, the rib cage. Come on, come on. Okay, cool. Are we going to find nothing here? Probably, just like the other one. Okay, let's try and be a little bit sneaky. Because I feel like it's pretty close by. I need to get a little bit close. I can't sneak and jump around through here. Oh, man. Oh, man. What have I done? I need to get through. I can't get through here. This area here, I can't work with it. Not with that Yarl here, I just can't work with it. We've got to go find another way around. Let's get back over here. Where if that Yarl comes over here, at least I'll be protected by the, the dervages. I just can't work with that island there. It's just too rocky, too narrow, too coasty. Just no thanks. No thanks. Nothing about that is good. It's too yarly as well. Alright, so we gotta find another way around. Just wanna go home. <laughs> this place sucks. Alright, if I can get over to there, that might be okay. So yeah, we gotta go the long way around, but I'd much rather take the long way around that's safe than the short way around that leads to a death. And of course, death for us is permadeath. Because yeah, I fought a, a Yarl on those sort of like rocks before. It's the worst place to fight them. They knock you off into the water, the ticks get you, you run out of stamina. It's, it's just the worst. Mm, too much water. Yeah. My initial uh, feelings about this one was definitely misplaced. We st I still want to go into that mine, the infested mine for sure, but this is not an easy to... Okay, there's another one there. Easy to navigate area. Hang on, why don't I put another marker here and I'll go Diverger Outpost.
and same thing here. Okay. All right, let's assess the danger of this one. So two, three, four, five. Off his own staircase. Six. Oh, it's two stores. Stores, I mean. So, oh, yeah, there's a lot in this one. Hmm, I wonder. You, would you be able to get back? <laughs> Man, their path findings, not bad. Man, Total War could really learn a lesson from that from that path finding. <laughs> uh, it's not worth trying to kill them that way. Alright, so still trying to get back. Almost the two hour mark. Alright, at least I'm on grassy terrain here, which is much nicer. If I put the, the uh, Yarl here, I'd be fine. Yeah, this is much nicer here. Just leave. Uh, not not exactly a great yield, but most of this is just exploration. I need to get back into the uh, black forest. There we go. This is a safe spot. That y'all thing comes around over here, no problem. Okay, but I, I'm done here for now. Let's let's get out. Okay, well, fair bit of exploration was done. Uh, difficult to navigate terrain, uh, not too much in terms of resources, but uh, also not going backwards or anything. So, as long as there's some kind of progression, I think that's the main thing here. But it wasn't very much this episode for sure. Uh, I put anything in there. Do I? Decent amount of stock in here now. But yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. And uh, we'll see what we can find. So, this is what is on my to do list. I want to get my blood magic going. I don't really care too much about elemental magic. It really just comes down to having a good stockpile of Iter, which. I just need to wait to get the sap, which is why I'm not building it all right away. Um, once I've done that, I need to train it up a little bit, because if I can get my my barrier uh, higher levels, it can provide huge amounts of damage absorption, so I can take more risks without any serious concerns. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.